I like using decoy sometimes. It's just, yeah. If you just want to have raw fun, the abil those are the abilities that you should use. Like these guys in decoy. Oh wow! It's it's <laughs> the things that you can pull off. They're they're just like hilarious. Yeah, because it's it, it, it does make a point with style. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I say. I, let, let me tell you something. Like the harder the ability is to use, uh, in my opinion, the stylish it looks, <laughs> and that's what I like. Yeah. I just I just like styling <laughs> the whole way. And that's what I want to improve, really. Like I, I can manage to win in some cases, as I can, I've proved in certain YouTube videos. But I want to like I, I'd like to win with. With class, you know, <laughs> like a disgusting win series is cool, but I wouldn't mind winning uh, more properly, like a cleaner kind of win. Oh, I should probably pick my. Oh, let's yeah. go with Beaver. <sighs> yeah, and the thing about it is, it's not only that. It's that. Let me tell you something. At first, I was a heavy O smoker. Like I always beat everybody. <laughs> But I learned yeah. like with time, I, I, I learned that winning isn't everything and that what's like really important for me is like having fun because by just, yeah. wi just winning at any cost, I was just like getting a lot of enemies and that's not really like what I wanted. I don't I don't care. Yeah. Like I, at one point I realized that what I really wanted was not to win, just to have friends. Exactly. Yeah. And of course, styling is always awesome. Yeah. Okay, so welcome to training session number three. <laughs> All right. I'm one step closer to graduating. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so All right. last time we were talking about these guys, so we're gonna continue with that. And okay, I was saying uh, about the thing that uh, when you use these guys and you stun or kill somebody, uh, you're gonna lose the effect as soon as you stun or kill somebody so you want to make the most use of it and also like if you craft the disguise for duration which is how i use it now as i said before i use it for cooldown but recently i have just real realized that with duration it is a lot more effective because i prefer to use only one disguise and and make it count rather than use three or four and get killed every time you know yeah yeah i know what you mean yeah, so I learned that by using duration, at least in my opinion, it is more effective. I don't know if it's just because it is e easier to use, but the thing is that definitely it, it, it gives you such a nice window for disguising and undisguising that uh, you can make, make a lot of points by using it. So let's get up with some basic strategies to make these guys as useful as possible. Alright, let's do it. Alright, if you were on deathmatch, you know that the entire map is filled with NPCs and there is only one copy of each player, right? Yeah. Okay, so most players, um, they know this, of course, and they are looking for, for, for the other players. Like, <laughs> yeah, Dino walking for the win. Okay, uh, so they are looking for you. They are looking for players. For, for personas that look like players. They are not necessarily looking at the NPCs. So when you when you use these guys, they make this makes you essentially invisible to most players. They still have the whispers, but in deathmatch, due to the area being so small most of the time, not all of the time because Virginian, oh my god. Virginian deathmatch is crazily big. But yeah. but like for most maps, it's a really small area. Therefore, whispers, they're not as helpful when it comes to detecting people. So if you want to detect people, what you want to observe is behavior. The, 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 the better you get at observing behavior and mimicking NPC behavior, the better you are off in that match. That's basically how it goes. <clears throat> and when it comes to these guys, Another thing is that, and this does not only work for these guys, but this works for all, ability, all abilities as well, is that the more you use an ability, the more you learn to counter that ability. For example, if you are a regular disguise user, you will notice that with time, you will be able to easily tell apart like disguise players. Not necessarily, yeah. not necessarily disguise players, but 
Like in general, just any player in general. Any player, yeah, exactly. But especially these guys players, because of the fact that you also use these guys, and you know like the techniques of how to use it and that, you you will get better. You will like, oh, that guy is not an NPC. That's a disguised player. <laughs> yeah, this, mm -hmm. because a lot of people tell me like, hey, how do you know it was me? I was this guy. How do you know? For Christ's sake. And I am yeah, like, no, no, no. Yeah. yeah, and I am like, hey, I use these guys all the time. So I, I, I know it's perks and I know the difference between an NPC and a disguised person, you know? Yeah. That's basically how it works. And it works like that for every ability. So if everybody uses knives, it is very likely that you will learn to counter knives faster than oh. any other ability because people use it, you know? And you use it. And if you use it, it's just only natural that you will learn how to counter it. Okay, so now now let's go with the main tips on, on these guys. The first right. the first thing that you want to do is that you want to craft your disguise for duration, as I said before. Uh, you, can do it, you can do it right now if you want. I just enter the menu and craft, craft the disguise for duration. If you don't have it that way. I'm waiting right. and taunting <laughs> in the meantime. Yeah, taunting like a boss. Alright, so uh, I have the duration, right? Yeah, duration. Both points in duration. Alright, and then craft for 800 Sturgo points. Yeah. It's freaking. Crafting complete. Yeah. Okay, right. so. Uh, now, do you remember what I teach you about switching your ability sets? You know, using back and the A button? Yeah. Okay, so do that and, and select the same set that you have right now. Because the thing is that the crafting, it doesn't kick in on, unless you switch the set. So you have to switch your set and choose the same set. And the crafting will, will kick in as soon as you do that. Alright, I changed my... Uh... Ability set to the decoy knives because apparently I didn't have it. Oh, okay, okay. So, but it still it still has this guy. So. Yeah. Okay. So, let's say this: if you have uh, if you have these guys, and you have plenty of time, you, uh, meaning you just activate. For example, uh, well, stay stay where you are. Stay where you are. Okay. Suppose uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let let me choose you as a target. Okay. So. If I was your pursuer and this was deathmatch, of course what I want to do is disguise before I come into your line of sight. And because I am your pursuer and I am disguised and there's like a lot of NPCs around me, you, you don't know that it's me. Like un unless I make myself obvious, you don't know that it's me. So if I disguise, I, I, if I disguise, I can't tell which one's you. <laughs> no, because right now I'm not even. Your, this is me. Oh. oh. Yeah, I, I wasn't I wasn't in, in your line of sight. <laughs> I, I was here. I'm sitting here, but stay there. The thing is that right. I, I want to activate a, as a pursuer. You want to activate these guys as late as possible, but right before you go into your target's line of sight, because that way you can make the most of the most use of the disguise, as and you can like wait as much as possible. Of course, there are other variables such as. Pursuers, because if you, if you have like three pursuers, you might not have the chance to come up that close to your target before you activate these guys. Yeah. Okay, so another thing you want to know about these guys is that you don't want to wait until you're hearing whispers before you activate it, because you if you do that, most of, more often than not, you will be seen, like when when you're these guys, and this is something that. This is perhaps like one of the main reasons that people don't even use these guys because they, they don't use it properly. They always use these guys and their pursuers sees them, so it's not very effective that way. So you want to make yeah. sure that usually when you activate these guys, <clears throat> you want to try to be close to corners and not in open spaces because if you're in open spaces, so, such as this one that you and I are right now, it, 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 it is likely that you will be seen from from afar, you know, like pursuers will be really far away from you, but they, they will still see you. So you, what you want to do is go, to, go around the corner and make sure that there are no whispers, because if there are whispers, you do not use it. Do not use it. 
And, mm -hmm. okay, uh, once you make sure of that, you just activate it and start doing whatever you want to do. You can either hide or... If you want to be aggressive and go for your for your target, you can go for your target. And uh, as you approach your target, you want to be as uh, non-obvious as possible. And to make the maximum use of the disguise, you want to build up a focus on your target. Before you go for the kill. Or an incog. Or at least a silent. Like, the... Yeah. The, the more you can get is the better but the thing is like if you kill them right away uh you're gonna lose the disguise so if there's there aren't any pursuers around you're getting killed so before you get killed you want to make as many points as possible minute, before minute. that happens and it's the same for stunts like if you have a pursuer of yours that is close to you and you know who they are and they have ab absolutely no clue who you are you don't you don't want to stun them as soon as they get close to you and why don't you what why don't you want to do that? Well, it's because there might be more pursuers around you or your target might be close. And as soon as you stun him, uh, they're gonna either kill you or stun you. So before that happens, you wanna make sure you make the most points. And you will do that by focusing on your pursuer if you can. If you can. Because not not all the time you can do it, you know? Yeah. But yeah. a lot of the time it just happens that they happen to be close to you and you're in a blend group these guys and they don't know who you are and you can easily focus them in fact you might want to wait it out uh, before uh, until they kill a civilian because because it, it often happens that they get confused and they kill a civilian which is even better for you because you have extra time to get the the focus on your pursuer or your target yeah so yeah that's like this guy's 101 <laughs> all right that was pretty good, actually.